Hey guys, this is Ace Master Cool, Ace number one Master Cool, I'm single and cool girls I am. Welcome to my YouTube channel, subscribers, viewers. If you haven't subscribed to this video, do so. I'm coming out with some really good, entertaining, informative, fun videos. And this video, let's get into it. Top 10 excuses a Filipina will use to ask you for money. Now this is... In general, it's not necessarily the Angeles City Walking Street Entertainment Area. This is, could be any Filipina all over the Philippines. This is just coming from me, my take on it, fun video, and hopefully you viewers out there can comment and give us some of your input. Number one. Phone load. Filipinas will ask you for money for a phone load. I use Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, I'm on social media, or I live close to the bar scene here and I bar hop and I meet Filipinas, but they will ask you for a phone load. They need a phone load. Philippines is the number one country in the world for social media. They, they need a phone load so they can do their social media. Number two, their phone is lost or broke. They need money. They will ask you for money to help get into a new phone. Now, in my experience, I've been talking to a lot of Filipinas and sure enough, they some of them don't have a phone. They really do need to get into a new phone or their phone is actually broken. <laughs> so they need money for that. Number three, rent money. I've had Filipinas ask me for money so that they can pay rent. And this is all my experience, guys. I've lived in the Philippines now five months full time. So. Number four, there's always somebody in the hospital. I don't know why that is, but in the Philippines, there's always family members in the, in the hospital. And it's not even immediate family members. It's extended family members. My uncle, my aunt, my niece, my nephew, my, you know, <laughs> my stepbrother, my half-sister, my... <laughs> Now, I'm a Westerner, I'm a foreigner, I'm from America, my family's fine, it just doesn't seem like that many people, at least in my family, we're not, we're not in the hospital, but it seems, or even if I have co-workers, friends, nobody's, nobody's in the hospital, but over here in the Philippines, there's always somebody in the hospital and a Filipina will ask you for money to help. Number five, transportation to province. Filipinas are always asking for money for transportation. They, they either need trike money, jeepney money, to, from, can you help me with trike money? I need transportation money. A lot of girls in the province, they need transportation money to move from the province back to possibly the Angeles City area to find work or for a job, but they need transportation money. Number six, these are excuses they'll ask you for money. Uniform for a new job. The job could be any job, waitress, call center, entertainment. They need uniform money. So they will ask you for help to help them with new clothing. Number seven, see the clothing could be school uniforms, college or school expenses. A lot, a lot of Filipinas, they want to go to college, they want to go to school, maybe they're taking a break right now, but they eventually want to get back into the university or college, and they will ask you for money for help with schooling. Number eight, documents, it could be paperwork, documents, passport, 
Um, just all the paperwork, it could be for college, university, it could be for uh, a new job. They need money for the documents and they are going to ask you for that money. Number nine, electric bill, utility bill. Please, I need to borrow money. Can I loan money? Borrow and loan, that, that's a code word meaning you'll never see that money again. Borrow and loan means, you know, thank you for the money, you'll never see it again. A lot of girls will, will say, oh, I'll pay you back on my next salary. It's like, no, you won't. You'll never, the foreigner will never see that money again. But they will use, they're about to turn off my electricity, the lights, everything. If I don't get money to pay my electric bill. Now, uh, this is just my experience, guys. And a lot of this, it, it does kind of make you sympathize with the girl. And she's kind of poking you in the heart a little bit. And she's wanting you to kind of, you know, we're all human beings. We have feelings. You know, these girls are very likable, they're lovable, they're, they're cute and friendly and nice, they're easy to fall in love with, but a lot of the Filipino girls will ask the foreigner for money. Number 10, where's my gift? You guys, you've seen a lot of, <laughs> the Filipinos will put their hand out and, and a lot of people will say the hand is like their, the Philippines national symbol for, for giving. But I hear this a lot, especially around the holidays now. The Burr months were leading up to Christmas, the holiday. Also, birthdays. In my experience with birthdays, it seems like Filipinas have a birthday every three months. And guess what they're saying? They're letting you know about it. My birthday's coming up. My birthday's tomorrow. My birthday's next week. It's my birthday month. They want to celebrate their birthday the whole month. Or my birthday's next month. But where's my gift? And these girls will never forget. If you say, you know, you're going to get them something on the birthday or remind me when it's your birthday. If you don't get them something, they, next time you see them, they will remind you. You didn't, you said you were going to give me a gift. But anyway, guys, these are, these are top 10 excuses the Filipino will use to ask for money. Now, this is just a fun video. It's just coming from Ace Bass or Cool. This is just my little opinion or input or, or take on the matter. So let's just ha have fun with these, these videos. All right. If you want more of these little videos, subscribe to my channel, Ace Bass or Cool. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.